What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing, in my opinion, the coolest bug type Pokemon in all of Pokemon, which is Yan Mega. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Do I have to yell? Do I have to scream? What do I have to do to make you guys subscribe to the channel? Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if that's one of you guys, seriously, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button. It only takes two seconds of your guys' time, and it really does go a long way. But let's get into today's team preview. We got the one and only Yan Mega. Highly requested Pokemon on this channel, and I'm super excited to showcase it for you guys because I know you guys want to see it. And more importantly, I want to use it as well because it's super sick. It is a super cool Pokemon. We gave this thing the life orb as its item so it can do as much damage as possible. Nature's going to be modest to give that special attack boost evs are going to be special attack and speed because i just want this thing to outspeed and just take out pokemon left and right that is exactly what i wanted to do the ability is going to be speed boost so at the end of every single turn we go plus one on speed and then move set is going to be air slash bug buzz both for stab protect you know to protect and more importantly get that speed boost and then be, then be able to outspeed pokemon and then last move is going to be u-turn which is going to be stab but it's physical attacking but we're really using it only there to just to pivot out and get out different pokemon on the team Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Latios, and Latios is just phenomenal in all different situations. It's got Draco Meteor, it's got Ice Beam, it's got Surf to actually pair well with our Storm Drink Ash time. And last but not least, we got that Tailwind just to get speed control for our squad. EVs for this thing, it's the same thing as Yon Mega. Special attacking, speed, just trying to get out there, get some big damage, take speed control, and get after the battle that way. Ability is going to be Levitate. Nature for this thing is going to be Timid, just so it outspeeds pretty much everything. And then last but not least, its item is going to be Soul Dew. And I know a lot of people do not know what Soul Dew does, but it's for Latios or Latias. It's the only item for these guys. It boosts their dragon moves and their psychic moves. So if you have Latios or Latias, it's a great item for that Pokemon. Third Pokemon for the squad is going to be a great physical attacker, which is Tyranitar over here. We give the Focus Sash, so it doesn't get one tap. Nature's going to be adamant, you know, to give it that attack boost. Eevee's going to be attack at speed with the Sandstream ability. And last but not least, the moveset is right here. We got Protect, Dragon Dance to set up, and then we got Crunch and Rock Slide, both for our stab moves. Fourth Pokemon towards the squad, Scizor. Another great physical attacker. Bulky as well. X Scissor, Bullet Punch, Sword Dance, Protect. Fairly normal moveset for this guy. EVs are going to be... Whoa, I clicked off. I clicked off. There we go. EVs are going to be HP and attack with that technician ability. Nature's going to be adamant. And last but not least, its item it is holding is the Lumberry. Just so we can, like, get rid of status conditions if Pokemon are trying to burn us, paralyze us, poison, sleep, whatever it is. Scissor can deal with that with the Lumberry and stay in that battle. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Arcanine. And is this my last Pokemon? It is not. We still have, like I said, that Storm Drain Gash now. But Arcanine is going to be our fifth Pokemon for the squad. With that Aguav Berry, and you guys know I absolutely love this Arcanine set. I've been using this throughout my... Uh, videos throughout my double videos it just works so well controlling battles and just doing work this thing has a timid nature to outspeed everything we got evs are hp special defense and speed with obviously the intimidate ability to get that physical attack drop and move set is flamethrower snarl for special attack drops will wisp for burns on physical attackers and protect for a final move like i said this set is amazing it's really good at controlling battle really good at dropping special attackers intimidating physical attackers putting on burns for physical attackers and just doing work on a lot of meta pokemon such as scissors so like scissors is a huge problem so having this arcanine really can control battles dropping physical and special attack and taking out scissors at the same time last pokemon for the squad is going to be lovely storm drain gaston that can pair well with the latios like we showcased latios in the beginning it has surf it can pair well storm drain trigger that give this thing a special attack boost and have the battle just roll out from there we have scald recover earth power and protect evs for this thing is hp defense a little bit in special attack and a little bit in special defense storm drain obviously has ability relax nature and last but not least item it's holding is going to be leftovers guys you want to check out this team for yourself we got that pokey paste down in the description below go check it out all the evs moves everything you guys need to know is down there but without further ado let's hop onto that ladder look to get some wins with this life orb yon mega team Let's get rocking here, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle with Yan Mega, looking for a win, and we're going up against a very tough team. He's got Swift Swim, Ludicolo, Swift Swim, Kingdra, Minetric, Togekiss, Gardevoir, and Pelipper. So we're definitely going to have to bring in Tyranitar just for weather control. I'm going to lead Yan Mega, try to get after it that way. I might also lead Arcanine. Arcanine could be good, or I could just straight up lead Scizor. Oh, and I got to bring Storm Drain Gastron, man. Storm Drain Gastron is going to be able to rip here. Um, Scissor is going to be great. Tyranitar's, or no, Tyranitar is going to be great and Gastron. So we definitely want to bring Tyranitar and Gastron, but in the back end. But who is going to be our last Pokemon that we bring? It's probably going to be Scissor. I really do like Scissor here. Scissor can do a lot of work. So I am going to actually lead the Scissor, go Tyranitar, and then go Gastron, right? Yeah. Or oh, I could go Latios. Latios is really good. 
It is really good, but I like this squad. I am really digging this squad. Arcanine would be good, but again, he has a lot of rain, so we could pretty much just get dumped on by a lot of their Pokemon. So I'm not trying to deal with that. I'm not trying to deal with that. But before we get started in our first battle, make sure you guys follow my Twitch page. Link is down in the description below, and name is right on the layout. We try to stream five plus days every single week. I know last week I wasn't streaming, but that's because I was super, super busy working with sponsorships and working with stuff that can actually benefit you guys. So cannot wait to reveal all the stuff that we're, um, I've been working on. But if you guys aren't following my Twitch page, definitely get on top of that. This guy ends up leading Togekiss alongside with Manetric, and I'm cool with that all day. From this thing, I might just uh, protect, get that speed boost, and just go into a bullet punch, right? Or I could Swords Dance and predict to protect, right? It could definitely happen. I'm gonna Swords Dance here. I'm gonna set up a Swords Dance. I'm gonna predict to protect or something like that. That Mega's gonna protect, and I'm hoping to see that Togekiss protect, right? Or swap, something along those lines. Togekiss, use follow me. Oh, that's totally fine. I'm kind of cool with that. I can set up a Swords Dance and just bullet punch down next turn. I'm with it all day. Let's see what he goes for. Now she's going to go for an overheat. Oh, oh, was not ready for that. Was not ready for that. I could just bullet punch that Togekiss and pretty much just ripped off. The first turn, not looking so hot. For you. Not looking so hot. I was not expecting an overheat from a Manetric, right? Not expecting that. But speed boost from Yon Mega comes out here. Hopefully we get to showcase this Pokemon and get ripping with it. But next Pokemon we got to bring in here is definitely going to have to be... Oh, we could bring Gastron. We could bring Gastron. Gastron could be pretty solid, but I'm kind of liking a Heatar here. I'm kind of liking T-Tar. Double down into Togekiss, going to a rock slide. Kind of with it. Let's see how this one plays out here. Let's see how this one plays out here. I could Dragon Ants, but no, Togekiss really poses a threat. So we're going to go in here. We're just going to go straight into a Bug Buzz or Air Slash. I don't want to go into a nice little Bug Buzz here. Hmm. Or no, Air Slash is definitely going to be a play. We're going to double down into this Togekiss. Go into a rock slide. Let's get ripping with that. But dude, are you kidding me? This thing's ripping with Overheat. He's going to Whistle on the Manetric. I'm cool with that all day. And who's he going to go into? Help. So he's going to change up the weather. I kind of want to swap out, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Swap my T-Tar next turn. Just so I can get weather control and get Swim Dream Gastron in there, which could be lovely. And Air Slash is going to poke. Can we get a flinch? A flinch could be really nice. And more importantly, get off some big damage. That's some big damage. T-Tar outspeed. T-Tar does not outspeed. And Aurora's... Dude, what is up with this guy's moveset? Throwing out some crazy moves. Luckily, we are Focus Ash. And if we can connect this Rock Side, this could be great for us. This could be really good for us. Rock Side's going to poke. Yay. Send it out there, and huge damage. Huge damage. Great little turn by us. Our what's called can pretty much outspeed a lot of Pokemon. If he goes into Kingdra, he goes into Kingdra. That's totally fine. We're swapping into Storm Drain Gash down here, and our Yamega is plus two. So I could protect and get another speed boost just so my uh, Yamega can outspeed everything. But it really depends. Oh, he goes into Manetric. Goes into Manetric. And in this case, hmm. In this case, I'm just going to Bug Buzz. Well, you know, I'm just going to air slash, take out Pelipper, and swap you. And swap T-Tar, just so we can get weather control, just in case he has, like, that King Joe or Ludi Cole in the back end. We can take the weather from it while we take out this Pelipper. So we're withdrawing our T-Tar. We need weather. Can't believe you took out my scissor that easily. I was not expecting the overheat coming out from that thing. Air slash is going to fly through here. We're going to say bye-bye to Pelipper, yo. Yeah, Mega doing some work. Yeah, Mega doing some work. And what are you going for, Manetric? What are you going for? An electric move here? You might just take out my Yan Mega. Or hopefully he's going after like my T-Tar slot. Overheat. In the rain. Okay, I'm cool with that. Can you eat that? Oh, yes, sir. Thank the rain, man. Thank the rain. That thing's down in the dumps for special attack. And we're sitting in a great position here. Speed boost coming out here. I can drop an earth power onto that. And yeah, I might get off a shot on whatever Pokemon he wants to throw out here. It's gonna be Ludicolo. And I think that Yamega yeah, Mega might be faster, right? Yeah, Mega should be faster, but I'm just going to make sure it's faster by protecting. And we'll just go into an earth power. I think I'm cool with that. Just by protecting, we'll get another speed boost. We are plus three, but this thing is Swiss him, and he does have fake out, so. Great protect by us. Earth Power's gonna be able to fly through here, and he's just gonna go for a switcheroo. What's he taking, my leftovers? What are you taking? We got the magnet, you son of a biscuit. <laughs> and he took my leftovers, but Earth Power's gonna poke here. Skull could've been good in the rain, but Earth Power's just doing a lot of damage. That's beautiful, and it should be GG's from here. Great first battle, yo. Y'all mega staying in here? Y'all mega doing some work? Getting the speed boost, we now outspeeded Ludicolo even in the rain. So I'm not even worried about it. I could change the weather if I really want to, but I think Bug Buzz should just be able to come out here and say GG's, right? What would be better? Scald, scald the rain, obviously. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Yamega. Do him dirty. He just cancels battle. He doesn't want me to kill him with the Yamega. But hey, 1-0. Let's hop through a second. Look to go back to back. 
I thought we were done there in battle number one. Once that Minetra came out there, used overheat and took out my scissor, I got a little worried. But my boy Yan Mega and Titar came in there, clutched it up. We kept weather control and we grabbed ourselves a win there in battle number one. But we're hopping into battle number two here. And yo, this dude's team is fire. He's got Garchomp. He's got Gengar, Raikou, Lucario, Starmie, which is one of my favorite water types, and Infernape as his final mod. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I could definitely see Raikou potentially being a lead. In that case, who should I go into? I mean, I could go into the T-Tar. Like, a physical attacker could be really, really good. Yeah, Mega could be all right. But I, in that case, I can just, like, U-turn out. But that thing is really, really fast. Raikou's fast. Super fast. Infernape could definitely be a lead here as well. So maybe I just might want to go Arcanine. Arcanine could be a solid lead. We can snarl up. We can do a decent amount. So I am going to end up leading Arcanine. I'm going to end up leading... Oh, no. I'll bring Yam Mega in the back end. I think I might lead Latios. Latios could be solid. Could be solid. Hmm. Let's play your jeans. Latios or Titar? I'm thinking I'm going to go with Latios here. Try to go from there. Do I want to bring Gastron? Gastron could be really good. I do dig me some Gastron. Hmm. Gastrodon, I definitely want to bring Yamega in the back. And now it's either Titar or Gastrodon are my next two, probably best options. Now I'm trying to weigh out these options. Tyrantar could be good, but the Garchomp really thrives off of that sand. Hmm. Does have the Starmie? Does have Infernape? That's kind of scary. I'm going to end up bringing Gastrodon. Gastrodon counters the Infernape. It can super effective up against the Raikou, super effective up against the, uh, the Gengar, and then it also does have Storm Drain to protect us from that Starmie. So I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this. Let's go back to back here. I'm loving Yam Mega here. But he does end up leading the Raikou, so I could end up protecting and just snarling on both these special attackers. Could be a really good turn. Could be a really good turn. Oh, but I thought I led the Yam Mega. But then I just realized I didn't. <laughs> it's all good. I'm with this even more. Tim Mason come out here. We're obviously just going to snarl, and I might just Tailwind set up. Tailwind set up could be the play. So snarl 100%. And do I drop a Draco Meteor or just take speed? Yeah, he has very fast Pokemon. I need to take speed here. I need to set up a Tailwind. Let's roll off from there. I think Raikou will outspeed me. Maybe not the Gengar. But definitely the Raikou, right? Unless it's not like fully invested through speed. Because we are timid. We are fully EV'd in speed. If we get off this Tailwind and just start snarling these Pokemon down, we can start to control the battle that way. I really do dig it. Especially Gengar. It's just a glass cannon. So in that case, these snarls can do a decent amount of damage. And we do outspeed. Lovely. That is lovely. Tailwind poking out here. Give me that snarl up here. And who dodges it? Come on, yo. I hate when people dodge my snarls, man. I hate when people dodge my snarls. But look how much damage that does just onto game. You gotta love it. We get that special attack drop. And I wonder what Raikou's going for. Maybe screens or something? Cursed body. Oh, my. He cursed my body. Dude. He's gonna Volt Switch out. That's fine. That's fine. He's gonna curse. Curse my snarl. And we're just gonna have to start getting after that Pokemon. So we have speed. We know he has Raikou in the back, which I'm not really too worried about. Especially because we have that Gastrodon. And we'll see how this one plays. I don't mind going into Surf and swapping the Gastron. Could be a good play. Get our special special attack up while the Tailwind's up. But he's going to throw out his next Pokemon, which is going to be this Infernape. Who can fake, fake me out at any time? And Gengar's just going to drop a Shadow Ball. Coming in hot. Let's go, Latios. Eat that up all day. Yes, sir. So we're able to eat that up. I could just take you out. He could fake me out. Uh, I could swap. Could indeed swap. In this case, I'm just going to go for a Flamethrower here. And as much as I want to swap, I can't. He's going to fake me out. But who could I swap into? Maybe Gastron? Gastron could be good. Just keep the Latios. Or do I just drop a Draco Meteor? I wish I had Protect. Because we know the Fake Out's coming. Flamethrower might be able to take you out. But you know what? I'm just going to stay in here. I'm just going to go for a Draco Meteor over into this monkey here. Let's see how this one plays. It does not Fake Out. Awesome. So Draco Meteor's going to pop here. We do have that Soul Dude. It's going to give it that 1.2 times Multiplier. And... Just dump on the thing. That's a lovely turn. That's a lovely turn. Good thing I just made the simple play, went to the easy play, and just went straight for a Draco Meteor. Because I really did think he was going to fake me out, and I was going to swap. So, I don't mind if Latios goes down from here. Flame Thrower's going to poke here, and I think this does pick up the KO. Does it pick up the KO? Oh, no, it doesn't. Are you kidding me? Shadow Ball's going to poke. Latios goes down. That's totally fine. We're going to now bring out Yan Mega. And it comes down to... I think he's going to go back into Raikou. Does he go back into Raikou? I want to bring out Yan Mega. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And then if he does go in the Raikou, then I can just hard swap into Gastron and try to protect that Pokemon. But in this case, I can just Flamethrower, take out Gengar, no problem. And protect the Yamega, just get a speed boost. But we'll see. We are in Tailwind, so it does matter who he goes into. He's going to show his last Pokemon. It's going to be Garchomp. It's going to be Garchomp. And in this case, you know, I can just protect you. Or not protect. I can just go into will o -Wisp there. And I could U-turn. I could U-turn. I kind of do like that play. You turning out and burning you? 
just to get in that Gastrodon so it can actually take out that uh, Raikou. I'm with that all day, yo. U turn is such a good move. It's such a good move. God, I love Yanmega. Yanmega is so sick. He does get countered by a lot of Pokemon. Like, Rock does not dirty. Fire does not dirty. Electric does not dirty. But he's still so good. He's still so good. U turn's going to poke out your curse. Or, uh, he cursed by his U turn. I'm not going to. That's not even We're swapping out anyway. And then what happens here? We lose some HP and we go back. And we go back. Now we're going to throw a burn onto this Pokemon. And Gastron's going to come out here. Gastron's going to come out here. And I did think he's going to, like, drop rocks onto me. Because rocks definitely would have been the play because it's super effective up on the Gastron. But we're dropping a burn on this thing. Hopefully it's not Lumberry. If not, that pretty much solidifies the battle. Because this thing's not going to be able to hit that hard. We're just going to target down that, uh, that, what's it called? Oh, he does go for Stone Edge. Oh, and that's over on you. That's fine. We eat up all day with that burn. And this one's pretty much over. He just has Raikou. He has a burn card chomp. We're sitting in a beautiful position, yo. I'm loving this team. This team is thriving. Now Mega's awesome. I'm glad we got to show him off more so in the first battle. This battle, we're kind of just like using them just to pivot around and kind of play and weigh out our options. But I'm digging this. I'm digging this. So we can't go into Snarl, right? Yeah, we're Cursed Body on that. In this case, I'm just going to go for a Flamethrower. We're going to double down in Raikou and we're going to get in for it that way. His Garchomp, like I said, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about that one bit. But I do think he will take out my Arcan. And if he does, that's okay. He does have Stone Edge, which is kind of scary. Onto my Yon Mega. But it is what it is. Is what it is. Flamethrower's gonna poke. Now, uh, yeet. Get after this thing. And I think this thing's gonna be able to soak up that inner earth power. Let's see. He's just gonna discharge. That's a fine move. Doesn't affect my Gastron. Doesn't affect my uh, Garchomp. And I think he does take out Arcanine. No, oh, my Arcanine soaks. And then we eat my Aguave Berry. Oh my god. Dude. I love me some Arcanine. Dude, this is why I said in the beginning. This Arcanine set is phenomenal. He's gonna dig. He's gonna bur burrow away. That's fine. That is fine. Earth Power is going to poke. This isn't going to be able to pick up KO, but it's going to do some good chunk. And it... Oh, dude. It free Focus Ash. Oh, my Lord. Get out my face. Get out my face. My move's no longer disabled. And now they have speed. And now they have speed. So, in this case... Um... What do I go for? I think I just double down the Raikou here, right? Double down the Raikou is probably our play. Because if Raikou does take out Arcanine, then we can just take him out with a... The what's it called? It's called, but it goes for extra sensory. He's just trying to look for something to happen, and it's over with. It is over with. It is GG, Joe. Solid, solid second battle. He has some huge meta Pokemon. We just counteract them really, really good. Latios comes up with a big KO. Gengar's a glass cannon. We take him out early. We turn it out with our Yamega, and then we just solidify this battle. It's light work all day. Scald's gonna poke through here. He's already burned. He's not doing enough damage, and we're thriving. We are thriving. Leftovers. We are gonna swap it to our Yamega just because I want. That's because I want to. Because <laughs> I can. But I do think he cancels a battle. I do think he does cancel a battle. So in this case, we're just going to go into uh, Mega. Just because he's a cool Pokemon. And then we'll just skull and go across. But again, I think he's canceled a battle. And we take this 2-0. Oh. He does not cancel a battle. So yeah, Mega's coming out here. Please don't go for a Stone Edge into me. Do not hit me with a Stone Edge. That's my poor bug right there. He's going to dig. Okay. You could dig. You could dig. That's fine. I believe he does outspeed my Yan Mega without my speed boost. I don't think I'll get a speed boost just because we swapped in. That's how it works. That's awesome. I honestly forget. Let's see. He's going to take some burn damage and show me we get a speed boost. We do not. We do not. Okay. We do not get it. Bug Buzz should be able to come out here and pretty much finish off this battle. Yo, I hope he's going into Arcanine here. So then I can just Bug Buzz him up. Bug Buzz comes out. Scald. Let's do it. Because Garchomp does outspeed Yan Mega, which is fine. Oh, no, he doesn't. A little whack. Dig's gonna come out here, and it doesn't affect me. Loving it. Scald poking here. Yeah, I'm making out speed him. Wow, yeah, I'm a little quick dude. He's a quick dude. Leftover's gonna poke. Burn's gonna chip him away, and then we just need one more shot or one more turn. So I could either double protect or I could just bug buzz. But we're going for the bug buzz. But I do see him cancel that. Yes, sir. Yo, Yan Mega. Yan Mega, such a cool Pokemon. Yeah, I really want to showcase him off a lot earlier, but he's just a tough Pokemon to build around. You know. But I figured I'd go in with double bug because, you know, scissors were really, really good. You can really go with anything. But he finally cancels the battle. There's 2 0. Let's hop into our third. Look to show off Yan Mega a little bit more. It's perfect record time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's lock in Yan Mega yet again and try to showcase him yet again. But, guys, I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video, but I want you guys to send me Pokey Pace of your guys' teams or teams that you guys want me to showcase in BDSP. I would love to get teams or give me recommendations on what Pokemon you guys would like to see me showcase. 
definitely let me know in the comment section down below send me the pace all that good stuff i would love to use your guys team but hopping into this third battle let's lock in Yamega. mega i definitely want to lead him here he does have a swift swim team very strong swift swim team i should say he has pelper ludicola latios scissor garchomp and togekiss and Tokus, we definitely got to bring in T-Tar just for weather control. I think Yamega yeah, could be a really good lead, especially if he goes into Ludicolo turn one. We're going to need Storm Drain Gash on. I do like that. Arcanine I could come in here just for that Intimidate and Snarls. Could really work well. Or I can just straight up lead the Scissor just in case he wants to lead the Tokus. Could be good. Or I'm liking the Arcanine a bit. I'm liking the Arcanine a bit more here. So I'm going to go Arcanine. I'm going to bring T-Tar. And I think I'm just going to bring Storm Drain Gash on, right? That'd be my play. But Togekiss is definitely scary. It definitely is scary. But we do have that rock side to kind of cover it. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Tokus is scary. Scissor is a little scary, but we do have that Arcanine to counteract onto it. But the 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 obvious the obvious uh power move for this guy is going to be his rain. So if we can control the rain, we should be fine. He's gonna go Pelper and Ludicolo here. And I could protect the Yon Mega, or I could just go straight into a bug buzz and swap weather. I play here. Or I can go to Storm Drink Ashton. I think I just change weather, right? Protect change weather. Because he could, he could double down to my Yon Mega, which could be scary. Which could be scary. He could fake me out as well. So I'm just going to protect here. And more importantly, I'm just going to go into Weather or Gastron. Ooh. Let's go into Weather. Let's go into Weather. Because then this will allow my Yon Mega to outspeed next turn and do some work onto uh, Ludicolo. Dark is going to drop. Hopefully he fakes out maybe into my Yon Mega and tries to double down into him. That could be huge. That could be a huge turn. Well, this is exactly why we put Tower Mantar in the back, just so we can swap and take weather control instantly. So we take the weather control, we're not dealing with this guy, and what's he gonna go for? What are you going for? Fake out and double down to my Yan Mega. Give me this free turn. Give me this free turn. Let's see what happens here. Ludicolo goes for a straight skull. We should have we could have swapped into Gastron. Could have swapped into Gastro. Could have been good. He gets a burn. Oh, are you kidding me, man? He burns my little T Tar man. My lovely little T Tar he burns. Helper's gonna use Hurricane and I'm gonna block. Okay, so we're burned here. We're gonna take buff at damage. That's okay. That's okay. It's fine. We're gonna bug buzz, take out that Ludicolo, no problem. And I think we just drop a rock slide, right? In case we just drop a slide full of rocks. But we could swap into Storm Drain Gashadon. And I think we might have to do that. I think that might have to 100% be our turn here. Just for the sheer fact is, we can use T-Tar in case he swaps Pelper. We can use T-Tar again, just take more weather control. Because he could swap Pelper here. Could be the play. Could be the play. We'll see what happens here. Swap the T-Tar. It's burned. Come on, man. Come on. So he's really just there for weather control. Gastron's going to come out here, and we're hoping that he goes to a one along those lines. Something along those lines. Bug Bud's going to fly through here, and we can say bye-bye to Ludicolo, right? Yes, sir. Yo, Yan Mega. Doing him dirty. And yo, Pelper, go for a Skull. Go for a Skull. Come on, baby. Give me that Skull. Give me that Give me that Storm Drain boost. Give it to me all day. All day, baby. He ran Ooh. He rain dances. Okay, that's a pretty cool turn. But he, he's out of his Swift Swim Pokemon. He's gone of his Swift Swim Pokemon. And that actually that actually helps me out. I have speed control with Yon Mega, and I have rain with a water type Pokemon. Gotta love it. Okay. Alright, what do we do here? Really depends who he brings out here. He's gonna go into Latios. Latios flies through here. And what's our player? We're going into a bug buzz, dude. We outspeed you. We're going into a bug buzz. You give me no reason not to go into a bug buzz. And I guess we'll scald, or we can take weather control. And weather control really don't matter here. Right? So I'm just going to Scald in here because Bug Buzz should be able to take out Latios no problem. Just outspeed some ribs, dude. Yon Mega. Yon Mega! So good! So good, dude. This thing is a powerhouse. Ripping Latios. It rips Cresselia's. Does work on Ludicolo. Oh my lord. I'm loving this guy. I'm really enjoying this guy. He's going to go for an Ice Beam. Can you soak that up? Please soak that up. Yon Mega, no! Okay, Yon Mega does a lot of work there. He takes out two great special daggers. Very, very hard hitting special daggers. So I'm with that turn all day. I can take weather control, obviously, which could be nice. Do we get a burn? Give me a burn. No burn comes out here. And now I can bring out either Arcanine or now. Well, you know, we're just going to take weather control. Not dealing with that because I'd rather not have Arcanine in the game. And oh, this final Pokemon is going to be Scissor. That's a lovely. That is lovely. Gitar's going to poke here. I could protect. I could protect, but I'm just going to keep Teen off on this. Oh. He's obviously just going to bull punch me. Actually, should I protect? Yeah, let's protect. He's going to bull punch into me. We'll start wasting these turns. I'm just going to try to get off as much damage as I can on the Pelper. Paloops over here. Paloops. Right, bull punch got to fly. It's got to fly. Let's see? Yeah. Bull punch comes into my T-Tar. We block. That's great. Is this thing rain dance? No way rain dances. Rain dances again. 
I mean, that, that's fine. It makes my skull do a bit more damage. It makes my skull do a bit more damage, but it does scare my uh, Arcanine. It does scare my Arcanine, dude. So we do another Scald, and one more Scald should be able to take that out, right? If one more Scald could take that out, we're sitting in such a good spot. So T-Tar, we're going to go for a Rock Slide. And I'm just going to go for another Scald. Gonna go into the skull. Let's see what he does here. He could protect the Pelper, but I think again, Bull Punch gonna fly through. He does not Bull Punch this turn. Wow, that's lovely. That's lovely. That's just GG's even more. That just guarantees me that when he does not Bull Punch, he takes out my T Tar. I think he's trying to. Oh, we want to set up Sword Dance as like his last ditch effort here. I think he thought maybe Pelper outspeeds the T Tar, and he wants to take him out and then just have him Sword Dance set up. But we're sitting in a great spot. We're sitting in a great spot. Skull's gonna fly over there. That's some huge damage. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. No. Burn on my T-Tar. <laughs> T-Tar's going to take damage. He has no double-hitting moves. So I really do wonder what he's going to go into. Because, I mean, Rock Slide's probably your best bet, right? If we do outspeed it, we can go for flinches. Or do we just go for big damage? I'd rather go for flinch. He's not going to do that much damage. And then Scald's obviously going to do the most damage. And I don't really see him taking me out in one shot. Let's see. Rock Slide poking. GG's. No, that thing soaks. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. And this thing has an Aguav Berry or... Figgy Berry, what's he rocking with? He's gonna stay alive a bit longer here. But we're sitting, we're, we're, we're too good here. We're sitting in such a good spot. He's gonna go for X Scissor and we soak. Gastron's a beast. Skull's gonna come through here and that's GG's. That is GG's. What a set of battles. Perfect record 3 0. Dominated with Yan Mega. And especially in that third and final battle. Got him out there. One tap to Ludicolo and one tap to Latios for that win. Playing Pokemon BDSP is just so much fun. I love using different Pokemon, and I love battling with a different format. It's just a great change of pace from Sword and Shield, so I've been loving playing with this one. But yo, Yan Mega, insanely strong. Like I said, one of the best bug Pokemon in all Pokemon. Super, super cool looking, and hits like an absolute truck. I'm glad we got to showcase him to his fullest potential and grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.